following is a mixed media introduction to the newly released book the unfinished revolution the battle for america's soul storm clouds have gathered on the horizon the way of power eclipses the sun darkness has spread across the heartland chasing down every able-bodied man you don't have to do this he said a thought that seeped deeply into me and then sought a home in my soul, away from the war that had advanced at democracy's door. Who am I and to whom is loyalty owed? A fierce struggle takes place within me. In the case of the state, be yours truly. Am I property or should I be free? The rule of law is placed before the court with a running commentary that sorts through the precedents that allegedly tie duty to the birth of liberty. Soul sings its song of freedom through truth. Thus the stop for standard of reason proof needs a demonstration which carries one beyond reasonable doubt to be one. Constitution and ratification are mentioned as forming the convention through which obligation enters our lives and the means through which society thrives. We the people have issued the decree, we are told, but when one attempts to see how things were done, illegalities blind vision. There is no integrity. Even if rules weren't fashioned corruptly, I question the strength of that which ties me, supposedly, to the ideas of those who lived centuries before I arose. Whose interpretation of life should we pursue? The way of the majority? Does anyone have the authority to deny principles of sovereignty? All human beings have priority over the nations that have come to be arbiters of many facets of life and whose judgments lead nowhere but to strife. We do have duties of care to others since we are all like sisters and brothers in life's family. But this comes from two natural laws that offer us a clue. Ignorance is not an end but a start. We need to find the way back to our heart. Character is the steed that will carry us through the shadow of uncertainty. We have ceded our agency away, the capacity to do and to say that which is proper and necessary, to distance ourselves from pathology. We have enabled ways of power to leverage our lives to serve what they do, to let loose the dogs of psychopathy that hunt and destroy the economy. We have allowed ourselves to be oppressed by national interests that suppress truth and decency while making empty promises concerning democracy. The cult has taken control of our soul and damned the spring from which sovereignty flows. Healing circles are needed to restore what is essential to both rich and poor.